you know, last night, looking at brother Dana Way um, on the screen as the fireworks was popping, um, I couldn't help brother D but to feel your pain. You know, when our brothers and sisters hurt, we also hurt. And I want to use this title, Veterans Who Are Harmless. But I'm also going to tie this in with some other things. Um, because to all my people on here who are veterans, and that's a lot of y'all. Y'all know who you are. Shout out to you. Peace and blessings to you. I'm forever praying for you. And when I thought about D um, last night, when he was saying, y'all pray for me and excuse me, because I know a lot of people like their brother Dana Way. It's the fireworks, the loud noises, the booms, even thunder sometimes. It have it, it makes a lot of veterans have flashbacks, you know, especially with the lights in the in the sky, the the loud noises. And it and it makes you think about mm, how many didn't make it back home. Now, y'all already know my take on the 4th of July. I'm not even going to go into that. You can look at all my old videos. I'm not even going to dwell on that in this video because today is the 4th. And I know from talking to a lot of veterans, the mindset that they have now, and the sad thing is, a lot of mine is gone. And every time I'm on the streets, whether it's at the gas station, the corner store, it's always more than one veteran out there who's homeless. The way this system is so set up, notice I said system, it's heartbreaking um, because when I think about somebody who gave their life for the country, and then I look at how the country don't even help so many veterans, it shouldn't be no such thing as a homeless veteran. Just real talk. Just my opinion. Once again, these are my opinions in this video. Um, that's why I say if you look at the bottom of the screen, my heart hurts hard for veterans. One of my uh, big brothers, big brother Reggie, shout out to Reggie Simmons. And I miss working with my brother Reggie because me and Reggie would have these conversations all the time, different conversations. And he's a veteran. Um, and the thing is, a lot didn't make it back home. A lot didn't make it back home. But when you look at how most veterans are treated now, you should see something is wrong with this. Now, I know a lot of people can come back and turn into drunks, you know, turn into all kind of addictions. I understand that. But what triggers that? What triggers that? Kind of remind me of um, the movie Dead Presidents when um, the Red State, Chris Tucker, um, you see the role that they played in their movie. But they went to the war. And when you look at when they got back, some of y'all familiar with this movie, Dead Presidents came out back in the day. Lorenz Tate, had a hard time just finding a job. Now, remember, he went out there and risked his life fighting for the country. He was blessed to make it back. But barely could find a job. Barely. And the little piece of job that he had at the meat place, it played out. So that triggered his mindset in the hooking up with Kirby. And the, and the fake preacher, which was played by Bo Keen Woodbine, to rob. Y'all know. You've seen the movie. Rob them armed trucks. And then my other point is, but look at Chris Tucker. When he made it back home, he was all messed up. Them shakes, the nightmares. He said, I'll break out in cold sweats. He don't know. I don't know what it is, man. He said, something got into me over there. That's not just a movie. This is why you, you hear about mental illness so much. A lot of the homeless veterans are battling with, with, with that mental illness, 
They 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 trying to get help. I mean, they having flashbacks. Some of these brothers and sisters come back so messed up, y'all. Legs blown off in the wheelchair. Saddest thing I hate to see, man, is when I see a veteran on the corner in the wheelchair with one leg or no legs at all. Now, I know some people could be playing the game in line and, and putting on veteran gear like they really went to the military, but some of these people out on these streets are real. Just like a brother I know. He, you know, he don't even beg for money. He don't beg for money. He had a sign. Woo. And I'm going to close after this. His sign didn't say nothing about begging for money. And nothing. His sign just simply said, I fought for my country. Why is my country not fighting for me? In a wheelchair. I fought for my country. Why is my country not fighting for me? Like we was talking about the other day, they talking about have, if it goes all the way in the play, this this new draft on men and women. If the, if it happens, I think that was Chris Rock that made that joke, um, in one of his stand ups a while back. He said, "I I can't have a drink until I'm 21, but I can go get my leg blown off when I'm 18." That's why I wanted to put that flag up there for a minute. The 50 stars, the 13 stripes, the 13 colonies. America great. For who? Shout out to all my veterans on here. Y'all know who you are. Peace and blessings to you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I, I hurt. I hurt. I hurt. I hate what I see. I, man, it's just, I really can't even come up with the right words in a video like this to express the way I feel toward you. That's why a lot of my veterans that I know, they say things like, if I knew what I know now, I would have never went. They promised me all these benefits. Like like my partner was telling me at work, man, they promised you this and promised you that. When you make it back, man, you hey, when you get ready to buy your house, when you get ready to have this, man, you get certain benefits. But that's all cool, but they didn't make it back. The ones that didn't make it back. But what do you come back and bring their wife, their children? I yeah, right there. Just my little thoughts. Love y'all and have a blessed day. Shalom.